treatment, no treatment, or whatever. So, and then we are able to make it two columns. And we, but again, this is the timeline. So, the The pi one, which is time one, which is here. So we have a four timelines associated with the pi one, pi two, pi three, and pi four, which is P. And error. This is the level one. And you can easily define what we want to know this is <coughs> differences between the two intervention program and here it's not significant. We just started, so it's not significant. But a little later we start to see that some difference. So that you are able to see it, some difference and it's significant. Little later, like the um, the difference is larger even significant. <coughs> but more later, like it's same. So it's just like a drag. Um, you start and it have some effects, and then it gets gone. So um, that's the way. Like um, I feel commonly used the growth curve because you are able to see the uh, the same timeline. But some people in the A treatment, some people in the B treatment, and how like the differences uh, between the, like the patients or the subjects, like blood pressure or something, whatever, like we, we see the differences. And it's significant or not significant. But we are not gonna calculate this. I just saw, show this as the example of the I feel common case. So if it happens this, um, pi one, which is a timeline one, timeline two, timeline three, timeline four, all in a level two. And we put the treatment conditions here. And then errors. That's basically what about. So pi one, pi two, pi three, the timeline, like a time one. They're they're not small. It's a point. Oh, it's point. Okay. So yeah. It's so like a, um, the timeline one, timeline two, timeline C, timeline four. Okay. And what happened? Like then what happened? Okay. <laughs> what happened there? So that's basically the how you want to do it. But this one. Like um, if you study too much, not too much, but a lot of curve, when you are back to the normal model, which you're gonna see more often, and then like I often see the people screwed up because the, the two things together. So now we go the day four part, uh, part three, page ten. We run four times, but the uh, three times the questions I already make the answers. But I would like you to follow where to click to reach the um, the day four part three four, and then I would like you to work, print out, and interpret the results. Okay, we go now next page, and this is a summary what happens um, all four times of running the program. So this is the simplest model. And after we run it, like some places you see not significant. Right? And then we start to like we go next level and it starts to drop off. <coughs> but this is the tricky things. Uh, B10 we remain the reasons we took off pi zero, which is a level one 
are intersect. So the total P0 of effect other model. That's why we remain the V10. We see that some uh, number differences. Like um, the V10 after we take it off. So we still remain this one. But normally, generally speaking, when it's not significant, just take off. The reasons we just in case uh, this is just a very conservative, you know. I have how the Utah is very conservative. So we remain this here, but we run it, but it's not significant. So that eventually we take it off. But we run the second time still V10. The reasons was whole P0 took off. So the third model, which we run the V10, but still not significant. So we take it off. So P1 is now only error. We couldn't find any uh, <coughs> sets to explain. And the last one, which I would like you to work, um, since the P1 is on the errors, we start to put the allot treatment model in the level 2, P2. We put the sex and the group and the dog mom. And the uh, gender was not significant. That's basically the end of the story. OK, now we start to run the uh, first model, I guess many of you already do that, like So procedure one, and you don't want to close, you don't want to close because we keep going Level one, we starts to put that H12 as uncentered. And H12 square uncentered. And then make the R1 and R2 are both great. So it needs to make it click in a bowl. That's what we're going to do. Okay, some problems? Do we need to take the intercept off? To intercept off? Yeah, pi is zero. Didn't we decide that was insignificant? We oh. want to. Uh, yeah, I was, yeah. Um, the, the first part, I was just explaining the whole picture. Okay. By four times so around. Right through the so now we just starts to begin the first one. Okay. So you don't want to take it off. We already know the results, but we do it. <laughs> What's the difference between H and H twelve? It's a subtract twelve. So this is you know, like um, 12, 14, 16, that, 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 that. The numbers are actually too narrow. So that like when we plot it, like we want to make it the curve. So that like we start to manipulate the numbers to be able to see the differences just like a curve. But I personally do not like this example because it's a little far from the like uh, practical. <laughs> So, so H12 is like a restriction of the H12. So it's just like manipulating the numbers. Okay. Manipulating the numbers and see the example. But the see <coughs> if we do this kind of things, I guess we can see the multi linear. Because even though we manipulate the numbers, we measure the same thing. 
so that like I expect that multicultural happens. So, but this is what I kind of get it from the previous person. So. <laughs>